Hi guys, it's Rude for Resource News. So apparently Nigeria now has the largest church auditorium in the world and it's called the Dynamis International Gospel Center. It's a 100,000 seater capacity and if nobody has anything to say, we all know that Daddy Freeze would definitely say something. He went on Instagram and wrote a very long post and in his post he said, Nigeria absolutely does not need this. These clowns need to stop feeding their egos and start feeding their congregations. If we don't have the largest school in the world, or the largest hospital in the world, or any of the largest factories in the world, I think opening the largest Pentecostal business center in the world is shameful and hypocritical, especially when it's coming from the poverty capital of the world. Hashtag free the cheapo. Some other Nigerians also had a few things to say. James Kofi said, God doesn't need any church building. Going to a bigger church won't change your situation. Robert Wusa commented, world's largest auditorium church Abuja looks more advanced than the national stadium. I hope it will create unemployment to all Nigerians. Lord Sean Lee had a different opinion. He said, Nigerians buy iPhones like pure water, Ben's shipping to the country like Chin Chin, big, big houses all over the place, and we have almost the largest customer base in Dubai market. Now church be your problem. Basically, we just need Nigeria to advance. Whether big church or not, Nigeria should just advance. That's all. December is almost here and it's definitely going to be amazing because of all the concerts that are going down. Almost all the artists are planning to have concerts in December, but the most amazing part is that Olamide and Whiskey are planning to have their concerts on the same day at different locations. When Olamide was asked about it, he said, It is true that the two shows will happen on the same day. The population of Nigeria is huge and everyone cannot fill up one event center. I believe the sky is big enough for birds to fly without touching each other. I honestly don't feel there will be any negative effect. But what will happen to those that want to be at the two concerts? <laughs> Black China was in Nigeria over the weekend. She was first in Lagos for the launching of the whitening cream. Then she went to Abuja for an event. And it seemed like she got into a little fight when she went to Abuja. Ki Ariana Mercy said, What is wrong in fighting? If she's strong enough to fight, allow her now. Nenye commented, Nigerians are ruining their tourism market share. Don't they have contracts for this shit? We just hope Black China did not go back to America with injuries. Kiss Daniel has a new look and we don't know how to feel about it, but Nigerians definitely know what they feel now. Tori Max said, man, you look stupid with this hair. Princess Ade commented, your new look, I don't like. But some people will definitely like it. So if you like it, let us know in the comment section below. That's all for now, guys. Check out more on our social media platforms at Resus TV. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. And don't forget to click on the notification bell for instant notifications. Bye, guys.